Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug. This channel is dedicated to covering as many Playdate games as humanly possible, but you gotta start somewhere, and we start with Season 1, Week 1, Game 1, White Water Wipe Out. This is a high score crank based surfing game, if you haven't seen it before, and it does take a little bit of getting to know the controls. So when you first start, it seems like really hard. And once you actually get more into the groove of how the crank controls, it does get a bit easier on you. There is a ongoing strategy of trying to land as straight as possible and trying to gain more speed because more speed means more height. And more height means you can do a double and a triple eventually. But also you're outrunning this wave and that does cause some issues because it will get faster on you. And it's, all right, more jumps, higher jumps, more spins, higher score. So currently, I've gotten a 15,000. That's the right out there. I've gotten 15,000 as, as my current high score. And it does take some getting used to. So my initial first impression was, hey, man, this is kind of just eh. It's okay. But once you learn kind of, or once you teach your muscles, how the crank should be held and how it should be angled to properly land your surfboard, you will get better at it. You will get much, much better at it and eventually start getting doubles and triples and that will increase your speed. But also the combos are important. So you're not gonna get a combo on the one, you gotta have at least two to get that combo. And if you keep doing the twos, then the combos, oh, that's, nope, I screwed that up. And it's not interesting, but that's on me. Now, I do wonder, having played this a bit now on my own and not being captured, how much lag here is in this mirror app. So right now, I'm staring at my TV on a nice big bit of this business where it's, you know, nice, nice and large and in charge and not, you know, on the actual console itself. So I wonder if there's a perceptible amount of lag with this that would actually uh, behoove me to be doing it on the actual play date and not on the TV. But generally, it's the kind of game that once you kind of hear the sounds, you can kind of do it with your eyes closed because it's all right, all about how you position your hand and how to have the crank positioned. But yes, getting the speed is very important to escape this wave. And man, some of those scores on that leaderboard are wild. Like, I don't even know how it's humanly possible. Like, I don't really... Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, keep practicing. Any high score game, you keep practicing. Uh, and some of these hints are like pretty common sense stuff, but it's fine. So there you go. My high score in first place on my leaderboard is 15605, and on the current global ranking, it's going to be down here in the 246 position. So these videos, depending on the game, are not going to be long videos because, all right, this game, you've seen what this game is. And yes, there are sharks down on the bottom sometimes, which are, you know, avoid the sharks. And one of the tips is hit the birds. And I haven't done that yet. So I'm not sure what kind of a high score that gets. I'm not sure how much crazier this will eventually get as you gain more speed and get your doubles and triples and maybe even a quadruple. I don't know. But... Sometimes that's gonna happen and you just don't crank it in the right position. And so what it is for me is that when you get any kind of a new brand new controller, your first thought is, all right, how much abuse can this take? And certainly a crank, you're like, well, how hard can I crank it? No pun intended. Um, how hard can I crank it before it, you know, is a problem? And will the hardware hold up to my aggressive cranking? Again, I'm not trying to be lewd here. That's just the name of the game. But that I don't know yet, and obviously it's been, you know, only a hot second here since I got the console, so I don't really have an answer for that. Also, I'm kind of leaning. I'm leaning to surf better, which is not what you want to do. That's not going to help me at all. Uh-oh, here comes the here come the wave. So, kind of just skating like this, get you some more distance. And then once you get that distance, you hit them 360s and hit that triple. That P.S. triple. What you know about that? But then it's like, all right, well, we must escape this wave, which is 
aggressively trying to murderize us. And that's no good. You don't want that. So, there we are. Alright, getting some distance here. And angling it down gets you the best result. But, obviously, the height... Oh, man. The height is what you want. Because the more height, the more spins. The more spins, the more points. So, it's really just at the start, get that. Just do one to get a little, a little bit. A little bit of juice in the tank. A little bit of souse. And then eventually, once you kind of get a couple of these, then you can start hitting the doubles and then get some, some good height and then hit some triples. But if you don't have the height, don't even make the attempt because it's not going to go out for you. There's a double. So, try it. Double. Combo two. We'll go for another double here. Combo three. I'm not sure how fast this gets. It's kind of my main thing. It's like, well, does it get real fast? Maybe. Maybe not. And eventually, I'll find out. But that is my look here at Whitewater Wipeout on the play date. Week one. Day one. Game one. And the next time will be casual birder. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.